Welcome to the Apprenticeship Certificates England online video training. In this short video, you'll learn how to complete an apprentice record by selecting appropriate framework details, uploading required evidence, submitting the claim and avoiding common errors. Once you've created a record for an apprentice, you see that three additional tabs are now available. Framework, Status and Certification Evidence. Starting with the Framework tab, select the framework with the date range that incorporates the apprentice's start date. The operational date range is given at the end of the framework title. A common reason for rejection is the selection of a framework which doesn't coincide with the apprentice's start date. If you are unsure which one to select, please contact the appropriate certification body before you submit the claim. Now you can select the appropriate framework level and pathway. Doing this will reveal the associated qualifications options and certification evidence requirements. These can vary depending on the selections you make, so it is very important that you have selected the correct framework, level and pathway. Your selections here need to match the qualifications achieved by the apprentice. If you can't see the qualification option you are expecting, you should first go back and recheck your framework selections. If that doesn't resolve the issue, then please contact the appropriate body for further advice. Moving on to the functional skills requirements, again, make sure that your selections here match the qualifications achieved by the apprentice. Finally in this section, you need to complete the employee rights and responsibilities and personal learning and thinking skills declarations by clicking the appropriate confirmation boxes. Before moving on, click the update item button, which not only saves your changes, but also creates the required fields on the certification evidence tab, which we'll move to next. This is where the required achievement evidence is uploaded. All uploaded evidence must meet the relevant requirements of the framework and the criteria set out in our acceptable evidence guidance. It's very important that you take care to avoid errors, which will result in your submission being rejected. As well as things like mismatching names or dates of birth, submissions are also often rejected because of missing evidence. In this example, evidence for the required technical knowledge qualification has not been uploaded evidence for the wrong apprentice. Here you can see that the mass evidence uploaded is for a different apprentice. Evidence that doesn't meet the framework requirements. In this case, the qualification does not meet the framework requirements as it was only achieved at level 1, whereas an advanced framework requires level 2. Consent form errors are also very common. We will discuss these in more detail in a separate video. Once you've completed all of the required fields, the record is ready for submission. To do this, go to the Status tab and use the drop-down to select Pending Certification. A validation pop-up will appear. Check the information entered is correct before clicking OK to submit the record. In the next video, we will show you how to correctly complete the Apprentice Consent Form and how to avoid common errors.